Want to connect remotely to another device? TeamViewer is the answer. Today, we're going to guide you through downloading and using the latest version of TeamViewer. TeamViewer is a popular remote access and desktop sharing software used by millions around the globe. Whether you're helping a friend fix a computer issue or accessing your work files from home, TeamViewer makes it easy. First, let's start by downloading the software. Open your browser and go to the official TeamViewer website. Navigate to the download section. Here you'll see multiple versions. Select the one suitable for your device. Download the version for Windows if you are on a Windows machine. Download the TeamViewer full client which has all the functionalities. If you want an older version you can also download it from this page. You can choose a 64-bit or 32-bit file depending on your computer. Windows 11 is only installed on 64-bit machines so I will download the 64-bit version. Once the download starts, wait for it to complete. Go for the default installation and click the Accept and Next button. Follow the on-screen instructions to complete the installation. Now that TeamViewer is installed, let's dive into how to use it. This is the new interface It is quite different from the old version. The redesigned interface is crafted to be intuitive, user-friendly, and highly organized, allowing for effortless navigation and enhanced control over your remote access experience. With the new interface you need to log in, in order for you to connect to other devices. When you are not logged in you can only grant access to other devices to connect to your computer. So for me to connect to other devices I need to create an account. If you already have one just log in. Enter your first name and last name. Then enter your email address and click on continue. You can also use your Microsoft account, Google account and your Apple account to create an account. Set a strong password for your account then accept the terms and conditions. An email has been sent to your email address so you can click on it and verify your account. Your account has now been verified let us log in. When you go back and try to log in more emails will be sent to you. You can confirm if you want to receive newsletters and add your computer to the trusted devices. After adding the device to the trusted devices you can now log in. You can read the welcome messages so you can get to know new features and so on. To get started you can upload your photo, add your first contact, set up remote access to your computer or enable two-factor authentication. By clicking on the profile picture a drop-down menu will appear where you can edit your profile, see your account plan, and on the free version, you can also change your online status, go to settings and so on. From the home page you can also see your ID and password that you can share with say a technician for them to connect to your computer. The password changes every time you log in it is not permanent, the ID always remains the same. Let me now jump onto my Windows 10 machine so I can connect to it. I have already installed TeamViewer on it. Take note of the ID and the temporal password. I'm now back on my Windows 11 machine. Let me enter the ID and temporal password for the TeamViewer on my Windows 10 machine in the Partner ID field. This is the field that you don't see if you are not logged in, in the new TeamViewer interface. Let us see what is happening on the Windows 10 machine that we are trying to connect to.
Let me go back to the Windows 11 machine and authenticate so I can connect to this Windows 10 machine. As you can see I'm now connected. Let us now explore the interface. Under the actions there is an option for you to leave a note that will be seen on the remote computer you are connected to. On the lock option there are three options that you can select from. On the reboot option you can reboot the remote computer normally or you can reboot it into safe mode. You can send a control alt and delete command to the remote computer. There is also the shared clipboard that you shared clipboard is on by default. On the remote system information you can check the specification of the remote machine. This information is useful for troubleshooting. You can also update the remote computer's team viewer if it is not up to date. On the view option there are several options you can select and change the display options like scaling. You can also change the quality of the display depending on the speed of your internet connection. Even the screen resolution can be changed. By default the wallpaper is hidden you can only see a black screen on the remote computer you can change this from here. On the communication tab you can use the whiteboard for say presentations. On the file and extras, you can transfer files from the local computer to the remote computer. You can also take screenshots. To transfer files to the remote computer just drag them to the right window and vice versa. Drag them to a specific folder. You can also hide the menu bar. To disconnect just click on end session. If you want to disconnect and lock the remote device just click on end session and lock remote computer. Let us now see how you can configure team viewer unattended access. I'm now on the Windows 10 machine that is acting as the remote computer. Click on the gear icon and go to the device's settings. Then click on Advanced Settings. Click on Advanced then scroll down to enter the password you will use for unattended remote access. Click on OK when done to save the changes. We are back on the Windows 11 machine. On the remote sessions it will show you the recent connections you made. Let us connect to the Windows 10 machine using the unattended password. This means we can now connect anytime without asking for a password. We are now connected. The next time you try to connect you don't need to enter the password as it has now been saved automatically. Let us now look at how to create a session. Under Remote Session click on Create Sessions.
You can now share the URL or take note of the code at the end of the URL. I'm now on the Windows machine I'm not even logged in let me start a session with the code that was shared. Let me go back to the Windows 11 machine and allow this connection. Click on Start Session to start a session with the person you shared the code with. We are now connected to the remote machine. Let us now share the whole URL. You can share the whole URL if the other person you're sharing with has no TeamViewer installed. I'm on the Windows 10 machine let me enter the URL in a browser. It will ask the person to download TeamViewer if it is not installed, for them to start a session. TeamViewer, besides its well-known remote access and support capabilities, offers robust monitoring and asset management features. TeamViewer monitoring enables organizations and individual users to keep an eye on the status and health of their information technology infrastructure. This includes, view the online status of all your devices to ensure they are available when needed, receive real-time data on the health of your systems, enabling you to detect potential issues early. Asset management in TeamViewer allows you to manage and oversee your information technology assets efficiently. Maintain an inventory of all your information technology assets, including hardware, software, and licenses, in one place. By integrating monitoring and asset management, TeamViewer provides a holistic approach to remote information technology management, enabling users and organizations to maintain an efficient, secure, and well-organized information technology environment. This feature is found in the paid commercial version. If you want to switch to the old interface just toggle the button on top on your right. There you go there is the familiar classic interface. But get used to using the new interface as I'm pretty sure in future there will be no switching to the old interface. That's it for today's guide on TeamViewer. If you found this tutorial helpful, make sure to hit that like button, share it with your friends, and subscribe for more tech tips. Until next time, stay safe and stay connected.